hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video uh, we will learn about how to deploy the Django framework uh, to the Heroku using the GitLab CI CD pipeline so this is the example of the application that I already deployed in the Heroku this is a Django so you can see there is a pulse uh, URL here okay basically this is from the documentation of the Django so I assume that when you try this tutorial actually you already have your Django application already in your uh, local okay so without any uh, git so basically it will you can follow this tutorial to create a new project uh, called my site and then you create a new application called the polls and then you can run and something like that basically at, la at least uh, you will have some uh, structure something like this in the end okay and if you deploy actually you can see something like this okay so this is the the goal of this tutorial actually so let's start so let's start from creating a new application so previously i used the django example one to deploy the application the one that you see right now and let's create another one create new application here basically we need to create application to uh, get the application name and also the application host and we also need to create or get the access key okay from the heroku so let's specify the name Django example 2 let's uh, add this app and let's create okay so we already create the app actually and then let's copy that okay so what we need what we need to do actually the next is let's uh, go to your repository in the GitLab for your Django so this is my repository actually uh, after following the documentation in the Django uh, project so I will have this my site folder and then polls and I have uh, something like this basically for deploying your Django you need uh, several files the first is proc file okay this is the definition what you will run actually in the Heroku and the second is the requirements.txt this one actually the requirement that you need to install uh, during deployment basically it will only consist of the Django and J unicorn because you want to run your web uh, application using J unicorn this actually defined in the proc file so in the proc file actually at the release you will uh, run the migration once and for the web actually you will run using J unicorn uh, get a uh, focus share actually my set here depend on uh, the project that you create during the Django project creation because I follow this tutorial actually so the name of the project is my site so based on this comment okay that's why in this proc file I specify the junicorn my set dot vsgi log file okay so we already have uh, two files here to uh, prepare and then uh, we also need to create some uh, modification actually in the my site so basically we need to add some settings this setting is actually help the Heroku to know the uh, our application. So first we need to add the allow host here. The allow host actually uh, tell Heroku which domain that actually allow to access the application. Since previously I am using the Django example one for the application name. Actually I uh, specify this in the allow host. So next I will change it because we are using the Django example two. Okay and uh, we also need to add this actually this uh, static root this is the static files that needed uh, by uh, heroku because in the heroku deployment step you will see something uh, requirement for this one okay that's about the files that we need to create and the last is about the pipeline definition next we can uh, we will talk about the uh, environment variable so in this GitLab CI actually we need uh, at least uh, three variable the first one is the Heroku application name and then the Heroku application host the uh, application host is the uh, application name dot Heroku app dot com and the last is Heroku API key this one we can get in the Heroku by clicking this and then account setting okay and you can get by clicking this refill okay and you can copy that okay but I don't want to refill that then so let's back to this GitLab basically it will only consist of two stages. the first one is to test this test actually only install the requirement based on the requirement the txt and uh, we also try to run the migration so we can make sure that our migration is working fine and then uh, to run this uh, collect static because actually this uh, step also run in the 
uh, Heroku. So we need to make sure that this uh, command also working fine. And then there is a deployment uh, stage. This is actually using the Ruby uh, image and it's install uh, DPL for deployment and we can provide we can specify the provider to be Heroku and the parameter for the app is application name and the API key is Heroku API key and here you can see that uh, for the environment we need to uh, specify the URL so the URL should be Heroku app house we need to uh, define this also in the uh, what I call in the environment variable so let's go to the environment variable by uh, clicking the settings and uh, to CICD. Okay, let's wait for a moment and let's click the variables here. And you can see that I already uh, defined all of those three API key, host, and name. So basically, API key I won't reveal that. And for the host uh, app, we can edit. So it will be Django example 2. Let's back to the Django example 2. Okay. So we need to change it to Django example 2.heroku.app. Let's update the variable and for the Heroku app name, we also change to Django example 2. Let's update the variable. Okay, it should be good after this and let's back to the repository. So now what we need to do actually to uh, edit the GitLab CI. Let's see whether we need to edit this one. Mm, okay, this is one uh, no need to edit. You can follow the example here for the script and what we need to edit is actually only the configuration. So we need to back to the settings.py and let's edit this one. We need to uh, configure the allowed host, the one that uh, previously changed from the Django example one to Django example two dot heroku dot app. And let's try to commit this one. Okay, so the expectation is right now after we deploy after we do a commit actually this page will be uh, changed to the uh, my site uh, repository project and let's commit that it should be there let's wait for a moment it should trigger the pipeline let's go to the ci cd you can see something like this okay let's open the pipeline id and we can see those two stage the first one is test and the second is deploy let's open the test okay still uh, preparing the environment this is uh, using the docker image for the python 3.8 so let's wait for a moment the good thing is actually in the heroku we also can use the database uh, there is a Postgres something like that uh, to be used actually, but we don't want to uh, Get the detail into that uh, in this tutorial. We will talk later in the next video. So you can see that this is the uh, Lock so the migration is okay. And then for the college static is also okay. So it's actually uh, Copy the statics files to the statics files folder. Okay, and next we can see the deploy so basically the deployment stage here you can see the details later after this after the command uh, completed let's wait for a moment okay still waiting still same let's see how long does it take let's refresh this one okay previously it took around okay one minute and 15 seconds this will be around that okay so it's it's starting so basically the first it will install the dpl for the ruby and then it will deploy the application so you can see here actually the first one uh, it's installing the uh, dependency okay so it will install the python it will install the requirement django and also j unicorn to run the application and then actually you can see that there is a step for python manage collections uh, static so basically uh, Heroku use this command also that's why we put in the test uh, stages and we can see that the compression done launching and there is no uh, error the job succeeded 
so we can expect that actually the deployment is success and we can reload this page so you can see that the page is uh, different now so we uh, we already have uh, two uh, routes here uh, slash admin and slash pools let's try both pools something like this you can see hello world you are at poll index let's use uh, some let's create some modification in the view to make sure that the changes is will be reflected directly so in the view let's change some string hello world you are at this poll index deployed in heroku let's commit changes okay while waiting this let's use some time to check another okay so you can see for the admin you will redirect that actually to the login page something like this so basically you already run the django for this uh, application using the heroku so using the what they call using the gitlab ci cd okay this is exception that we can uh, handle later but for the ci cd actually everything is uh, going well so this is the that is the idea let's see again for the pipeline okay still in the testing stage and let's wait for another okay it's working for the deployment still for second we need to wait for around one minutes but that is okay let's wait okay still half minutes half minutes to go again okay yeah, actually if we use uh, our current runner for running this one and we already have the image in our runner actually we don't need to pull and that will shorten the time for deploying but yeah because we are using the public runners uh, provided by GitLab, it will took some time okay still okay 52 seconds and let's see uh, almost one minute let's see again okay one minute let's see okay deployment is in progress now and let's wait for a moment okay so now we can check in in this Heroku app oh not this one this one okay the Heroku to Django example 2 and let's go to the polls Ah, okay wrong wrong roots something like this and you can see that the change that we did a uh, previously is reflected in this uh, Heroku application so by the end of this video actually you already learned how to set up the GitLab CI CD to deploy your Django uh, framework using the GitLab CI CD uh, to the Heroku so if you have any question or feedback please drop in the comment section and don't forget to like uh, this video share this video and subscribe to this channel thank you see you in the next uh, video